Let's make stutter house. First let's set the tempo to 128 BPM, and start by adding some punchy kicks. Let's add some claps. and make a groovy hi-hats pattern. Then let's add some closed hi-hats. Moving on to the bass line, let's make a trance style rolling bass line. Let's track this to a mixer channel and add some EQ. As for the sidechain compression, I'll use a separate bus channel. Sidechain the kick drum to it. And root the bass. Then let's load up Fruity Limiter, set the sidechain to the kick drum channel, and tweak the threshold and the ratio until we get a satisfying result. Now let's layer some more sounds to fatten this bass up. Then let's move on to the stutter vocals. Let's track this to a mixer channel, rooted to the side chain channel. And let's add some EQ. And some room reverb. Let's layer some more tonal shots to this. Then let's add some multiband compression. And LFO tooled. Then let's make some piano chords.
I'll simply route this to our sidechain channel and move on to the pads. Guys, I almost forgot to add a sub layer for the base, so let's quickly make a sub base. Add some EQ. And route it to the sidechain channel. Guys, let's loop this for another 12 bars, and start working on the second half of the drop. Let's add some rise. And some crashes. Then let's make a drum fill to transition into the second half of the drop. I'll add some pads for tension. Guys, since the drop is now done, let's move on to the intro and the buildup. Let's add the pads from the drop. And add a Reese bass. At the second part of the intro, let's add the closed hi-hats and the claps from the drop. Then let's make a simple piano melody following the pattern of the stutter vocals. Let's add some exhaust. And some impacts to transition into the buildup. Moving on to the buildup, I'll add the pads and the stutter vocals from the drop and run a low pass filter through them. Then let's add some buildup drums. some risers and the drum fill we created earlier guys now let's move on to the break after the drop let's add our reese bass the pads and the hi-hats Let's keep the buildup and the drop the same as before. Guys, to make the song more interesting, I'll change the beginning of the second drop. I'll automate the swing within the LFO tool like this. So guys, our track is finished. Make sure to like this video, and subscribe to the channel, and let's see our final result.